Hey, good afternoon and welcome to Shulchan Aruch Yomi. <clears throat> Today we are doing Simon Lamadal 34 and we're going to talk about maybe one of the most famous Mahalkas in Klal Yisrael. Um, most people, some people are Mahmir, famously Mahmir for a second. Shita, if you're thinking Tillin, you're thinking Chumras, you're thinking Rabbeinu Tam. We got you covered today. Let's get into it. Lamedal, Zeder Hanachas, Aparshios, but Tfilin. What is this Machlokas in Rashi Rabbeinu Tam? What is Rabbeinu Tam Tfilin? You're about to find out. Aleph, Zeder Hanachas, and Babatim. We mentioned there's four different Parshios that you put in Tfilin, Shal Rosh. Right? You have four separate compartments. Right? You have uh, Kadesh, Aya, Kibiyacha, Shema, and Vayayim Shamoa. Which order do you put them in? So conventional order would be the order they're in the Torah, right? So according to Rashi and the Rambam, Kaddish means small. Hamenyach. So I guess, right, this is my left hand over here. And the video probably looks my right. But I'm wearing my tefillin. So the leftmost box, I should put Kaddish. Then going across, I put Be'yach Then Shema. And then Be'yach Shema, as is in the Torah. Be'yach Shema, as is in the Torah. Be'yach Shema, as is in the Torah. Provide a shlish of Yam Shamo, he switches it around. The third one, same way, same from left to right. But the third box doesn't put Shema, he puts Vayam Shamo. And the fourth fourth box he puts Shema. Amina Gaolam, Shulchan Arshes Garashi, Rambam, and Mishabura further clarifies that even the Gra agrees the Iker is like Rashi and the, and the Rambam. All of Kali Shal follows basically Rashi. But some people, like, let's see, Simon Sif Bays, Yari Shamayim, Yesterday Shemayim. If you're a Yari Shamayim, you fear God. You should even fulfill Rabbi Nathan. He asked a Zugos Tfilin. You should put on two pairs of Tfilin. The Aniach. You should make, you should buy two pairs of Tfilin. The Aniach Shneim. You should put both of them. Yichavah and Achasa. And when he says put both of them on, he means both of them both, but put both of them on at the same time. Because there is Makom for two Tfilins, both on the bicep and on the front of your head. Yichavah and Achasa. What should you have cover on when you put them both on at the same time? Otem Shem Ali, but the Hilchasa and Yosei de Chavasi. Whichever the Allah is like, that those are the one I'm using for my Chiyah, for the Mitzvah, Ashar, Heim Kiritsu is Ba'am, the rest are just like straps, you know, decorative straps I wrap myself around. You have a place to put two tefillin, both in the bicep and on your head. If you're one of those people that get very fearful, you don't know exact places, even for one you get scared. So you surely can't put on two at the same time. First you put on, we're going to see Rashi, because the main svara is like Rashi, and then you put on Rabbeinu Tam, and you don't make a new bracha, you rely on the original bracha. The way to do it is you should have Rashi's on during Kriyashma and Shemona Eshe. The Mishra Buru clarifies, it's not talking about Chazar Sashas, right? After you said Kriyashma and Davin, don't switch to Rabbeinu Tam during during uh, during Chazar Hashas. First of all, you're supposed to hear Chazar Hashas, and second of all, you're supposed to keep your tefillin on to Uvalat Zion or after the Uvalat Zion, the Kaddish, or after Aleinu and the Kaddish Yosom. We learned earlier in Simen Chav Hey. So therefore, you should wait till basically the end of Davin and put Rabbeinu Tam. And when you put Rabbeinu Tam on, read Shema Ve'Ayim Shemoa. We're going to discuss why you have to read Shema Ve'Ayim Shemoa. Gimel Yasa can ala Misha Muksak and Mafor Sam Chasidus. There you go. If you're looking for a kula, you don't want to do Rabbeinu Tam. Here it is. If you're not a person that everybody knows, oh, that guy's a big chassid. He follows all the chumras, all the good ones. Don't do it. As Mishabur explains, Mexic, you look arrogant. Certainly, to do it in front of somebody, a big goddol, who is knowing just to put on Rashi, and you're doing better than him, Rashi Rabbeinu Tam, that it's for sure looks arrogant, and it would be usher to do it. It's a bad mida, yura. Uh, the Gemara says, mixik yura, since many times it looks like yura. I guess it's not really arrogance. It's really not arrogance. It looks like arrogance, so we have to be afraid of what people think of you. So unless you're a big macher, unless you're like, uh, I don't know, the Sama Rebbe, or the Gera Rebbe, I've been watching some of these videos, the Gera Rebbe, uh, went to Los Angeles, historic trip to Los Angeles, the Ger Rebbe. Now, if you're not familiar with Ger, um, up until a couple years ago, Ger was significant among the Hasidic sects that 
it never had a break off. All the other Hasidic sects many times broke off one another. This brother-in-law wanted his own gila. This brother, you know, didn't get along with this brother. So they all made their own Hasidus. And all the Hasidus, their names come from different places where they moved to. You know, they were in one place. And they broke off and went to another place. Bubba 45, right? 45th Street in, uh, in Borough Park. You know, uh, that's the new Bubba. Um, so this is a new a new Ger Hasidus, Rav Shol Alter. He was... He was the son of the last Gerer Rebbe, but he was not anointed as the successor to his father. His cousin was, who was a nephew of the previous Gerer Rebbe, Rabbi Yaakov Aryeh Alter, or Aryeh Yaakov, I'm not sure. And he is the, the current big Gerer Rebbe. But in 2019, uh, among conflicts, I think it's centered around something in America, I'm not exactly sure, Rav Shol Alter took the lead and became the last Hasidic dynasty to make sure that everyone, there's a break off in everyone. And he became, he was the Rosh Hashiva. Now he's the official Gera Rebbe to the Gera Rebbe, the Gera Hasidim who are not allowed in the schools of the previous, of the other Gera Hasidus, right? If, if, you, if you followed him, that was the warning. If you followed him, your kids and you got ostracized from the community. But it's worth it, right? I mean, another Gera Hasidus, I always say, you know, the Gemara has two different, uh, has Kusim, they have Kusim, uh, a type of people, we don't know who they are, but Rashi says they were people that, in the time of uh, Sancheir, um, they, they were forced, they replaced the people in Israel with, with Aryeh, with people with, with, with lions or something like that, so they were forced to convert, so they were called, it's Machlokas in the Gemara, whether they're Gary Emes or Gary Arios, where they, they really convert, or they just convert out of fear of the lions or out of fear to Hashem. So it wasn't a real conversion, according to that opinion. But I always like to say, that's exactly the Gemara is talking about nowadays. It's always talking about nowadays. Gary Emes, it's not talking about Gerim, it's talking Ger, Gere, Ger, Gary Emes. Gary Emes is from Shal Alter. He was the, he was the Roshiva of Svas Emes, that was the name of the Yeshiva. And Gary Arios is the main Gera Rebbe nowadays, whose name was Arye, Gary Arios. So that's the two sects of Gerim, and they're called Kusim, because they're coming over Kuth, right? Unkuth is someone who doesn't have manners. Kuth has manners, right? Most Hasidim don't have the greatest manners. I'm not, I mean, can I say this on camera? I mean, but but out of all the Hasidim, I think the Gerim may have the best. So they're called the Kuth ones, Kuth Hasidim, Kuth Hasidim. So they're the Kusim, um, and I guess... It would be in question whether, if you hold Gary Arios, so maybe it's less. So Gary Emes, Fas Emes, Yeshiva, those are considered the real ones, apparently. So he made a trip to Los Angeles. I like these cute little videos they have. It's just it's just amusing to me to see this big Rebbe. I think even someone wrote in the comments, they wrote, uh, he's doing pretty good over there. He's in first class on El Al or whatever, you know, learning the whole time. He gets to the airport. He's by himself. Someone, someone you know, pushes his, his luggage for him. They're pretty good. You see the houses he walks into, huge houses, hits the head of the table, you know, like the wealthiest guy in the world. And, you know, Gary actually has a lot of money. Um, the, the, the main Gary Rebbe, I think, is worth close to, like, 180 million shekel. So he's worth close to $50 million. So I guess they do have money. Maybe that's how they paid for it. Um, I guess the breakoff has Hasidim or wealthy also, but it's just the whole concept is funny to me. Uh, it's not just like Hasidish Rebbe's, you know, Gedolim, any Gedolim, Rav Steinman or Rav Yaska didn't go to America, but other Gedolim that went to America and they say these host houses, these huge houses, you know, like, and it's just funny, like the convergence of like these Gedolim that eschew any like Gashmias in their life, like they don't even want to eat like a chocolate rugelach, like it's considered Taiva's. Uh, they'll go and they'll stay in these fancy houses, walk and go into these fancy cars, you know, be driven around. And I, in their minds, they must hate it, but they're doing it to raise money for their for their mostos, for their yeshivas. I find this, this is hilarious. I don't know. And these people, I mean, they don't want to be, no one wants to be there. It, it, it's just weird. I don't know. It's a weird, weird concept. Um, anyway, so, but if you're a chasidus, right? My chasidus, right? My first chasidus. If you're a, if you're the Gare Rebbe, you're a force of a Hasidus. You're one of the most famous Hasidim out there. Then you can put Armino Town. I don't know whether the Gare Rebbe puts Armino Town or not. You shouldn't put on both pairs. Shouldn't put both pairs. Store them in one, in one you know pouch. You know. 
right? The kedusha, tefillin have kedushas, uh, not they're not and mitzvah. They should be kedusha, and you have to have kniza. So when you put them in a kis, it gets kedusha because that's tashmishe, tashmish, tashmish, tashmishe kedusha. They serve the kedusha, right? It's not tashmish the tashmish. That's kedusha. Therefore, if you don't make a tnai, if you put money in, it becomes kadosh. You can't. You have to have money to become stucco. You can't use it for your call purposes. So therefore, you don't put both pairs of tefillin because one of them is wrong. It's it's just kol. El yasa shnei gisim v'simon lekol kis shalavitei and shalav dabazeh. You should make sure one says Rashi, one says Rebbeinu Tam. You put it in the right keys so you know one of them, whichever one is chol. We don't know which one is chol. We don't know really what the halacha is like should remain chol, and whichever one is kadosh should remain kadosh, and it shouldn't be a zilzal to the keys had tefillin. That will be the conclusion today. Shir siyon inyan ben siyon, where we talk about more about this machlokis which Rashi Rebbeinu Tam and why only someone, why only over here, only someone who's muksak and will force them to chasidus can do this chumra. Every other place in the Torah, this Chumra is every Jew is doing it. Every Jew is learning, looking for those Chumras nowadays. While over here, is there such a kapeda, there's such a Shulchan pushes you away from doing that, this, this Chumra. We'll see you there. Bye.